Hi, this is Andy, Thoman ukulele player, and today we introduce you to the German master ukulele luthier, Tom Zingspeck. Hello guys, I'm happy to be here. Nice to have you on the show. I'm 25 years old. 25? 25. All right. Like every story started with playing the guitar. <laughs> then okay. I got into like a guitar workshop and then I was really falling in love with the process of making ukulele, uh, guitars. Mm -hmm. And while college I, I was uh, decided to make uh, ukuleles because I got a really nice set of wood, tone wood. It was just too small for a guitar. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah. I made one ukulele. And, and that, that was in Mark Neukirchen? That was in Mark Neukirchen. Ah, yeah. Mark Neukirchen has also a very, very long history of making ukuleles. They're like uh, documented um, ukuleles from 1890 something or so. Yeah. When you finished uh, the studying, afterwards, I, you went to, yeah. to England. I went to England, to North Wales. And I, I was working there for two years with Pete Howlett. He's like one of the best ukulele makers in Europe. A very experienced one. Yes. Huh? yes. Okay, so you helped him in the shop. Um, what did you... Um, uh, uh, was you specialized on uh, certain stuff on you? Yes, I was taking over the parts of like detail work, like inlays and doing the bindings, finish work and like that stuff. But as well, I, w I was making all the, the other parts. I mean, in two years we made about 160 instruments, and that was Whoa. like that is an experience. What I'm holding here is the Sunrise model. It's a concert size, all solid wood. I yeah. just use solid wood. In this case, it's mahogany front, back sides, neck as well, and I use some uh, the wood I use for fretboards and bridges uh, next to ebony is called lead wood. It's from Africa, and it's like it's, the texture is like ebony, but it looks a bit uh, like like rosewood probably. And there's a cool detail here on the bridge, like you don't have the pins anymore, you, you just make a knot into the string and uh, put the strings on, which makes it a lot easier. The inlays here, you do also on your own, like it's custom made inlays here? Um, and they, you're talking about the side dots, yes. Yeah, yeah I right. really like the idea yeah. because you can see it from the top and from the side as well. Yeah. In all of my acoustic instruments, you get a, a system I make on my own. It's called the, the U Cup. Um, it's a passive um, piezo transducer patch pickup. Um, looks like that, comes in a box. And this is the whole, the whole pickup. Um, What's different between this, this pickup and all the others is that the cable length is exactly just what you need. So there's no cable that is like hanging around, making probably annoying noises, whatever. You just need a little, little hole in the end and just glue it inside, in front of the bridge. That's it. It's your solid body electric ukulele. And um, this is one thing you're specialized on. And it's all solid mahogany body. What is this, the top? Uh, the, the, the top is ash. I have an electric pocket where the plate is fixed with magnets, so there's no, no screws you have to unscrew. And the passive system as well, so you don't need battery changing. So when you play this instrument, like there's not a lot of sound coming out of it because of the solid body. And... Um, it's cool to play at home, you don't disturb anyone, your neighbors or so. Um, but I reckon the, 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 the main thing is to use it with an amplifier or on a PA system. Yeah. Because all your electric ukuleles come with a pre-installed pickup system as well. That's right. Um, they come with a, a passive piezo system, strong output, um, a very, very punchy 
um, high no sound, so you can work with it pretty well uh, with any effect pedals or equalizers. Huge sustain as well. Yeah. yeah. So the tone is pretty long, yeah, that's true. But as well, what I do on these electrics, I use a wound C string that gives a bit more higher tension on that string and yeah, it works pretty good as, as an electric uh, yeah. ukulele. This is really an eye catcher. Like, there are just a few electric solid body ukes um, on the market and these are the only ones handmade. Um, from a master loose here in Germany. And this one comes with the core top. Awesome. This it's is a yeah. really nice. I mean, one. you can call it like Psycho Koa because the curl in, in there is like very special. You don't, <laughs> need, you don't need anything, you just have to look at it. Yeah. Tell us something about this one. So How is it called? This one is called Harp Ukulele. This is a standard tenor, tenor size. size yeah. And then you have like extra four bass strings. Tom, thanks for coming, showing us your amazing instruments, its incredible craftsmanship and beauties as well. Um, if you want to order your own custom-made ukulele made by Tom Ziegenspeck with your own specs, um, just give us a call and um, Tom will make everything which is possible to make you happy. Also, you can order pre-built instruments like these ones here in our online shop. and. Um, if you ever have the chance to drop into our store, come and check it out and play it by own. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments below what you want to see next. Tom, again, thank you very much for showing us these beautiful instruments. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure to be here. Mahalo. See you guys. Bye bye. Aloha.